Good afternoon. I'll start with, um, as of right now, Nick Kwiatkowski and, and uh, Tyree Gillespie are both out for the game, and uh, Keyshawn Nixon and Amik, are, we still have a couple days to see if they can possibly go, but right now they're, they're on the doubtful track. And uh, with that, I'll answer any questions you may have. Okay. <laughs> um, you're getting, obviously, this game is a divisional game. The, the division is so bunched up. Um, there's a lot of focus, obviously, on the game. But is it is it more than it would be for a normal game? Is it is it anything special? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Obviously, the, the division game is always you know something we talk about. Best chance to get in the playoffs, win your division, and uh, certainly we're back playing at home, and it's the Kansas City Chiefs. You know the historic rivalry. We're all very aware of that, but it's a it's a, a game for us that we you know we're coming off of an, a game where we lost, so we're excited about having the opportunity to play football again. Is there any different preparation for a prime time game? Like, do you, do you treat the, the day differently? How do you kind of build up to that? No, not not because of us for here, where it's a 5.30 game or whatever it is. I think if we were going to play on the East Coast and it was an 8.30 or 8 o'clock game, I think it would be a little bit different. But we've kept everything the same going into this game. On the rivalry, only said that you guys really make an effort to uh, – educate all the guys on, on, on kind of the history and knowing how big of a game this is. How do you do that? And have, do you see with, with younger guys coming in to not really have a sense of, you know, what, what a big game this is? Well, yeah, younger players coming in are really uh, mostly focused on what, what they've been through and, and the things that they've seen. So we're fortunate to have George Atkinson here, you know, who's been through a lot of those games, and he does a great job with our young guys. He's spoken to our team many times about what it is to play the Chiefs and what that rivalry is all about. So we do a, try to do a really good job in all three phases explaining to the guys uh, what that rivalry is about. Rich, uh, Corey Littleton kind of struggled in his first year. Uh, Say it again. Corey please. Littleton okay. uh, struggled a little bit last year. Uh, making his transition here. Uh, what's your been your assessment of his level of play uh, this year in the second year? Yeah, I'm really just more about, you know, what, what Corey's done to this particular point. You know, he still was an incredibly effective special teams player for us a year ago. And, um, again, I think the, the chemistry of the defensive staff being together, them uh, being able to know the ins and outs of when it's good and when it's not good, and then the players doing the same thing, you know, week in and week out, um, certainly starting to show up for us on game day. And Corey's been a big part of that. With Kowski being ruled out, do you believe that this is an opportunity for a Marquel Lee or a Devon Diablo to really step up in that spot? Well, I think right now KJ's been, um, you know, repping at the backup mic a bunch. He's played all three for us before. And those two, Marquel was up last week, and, and uh, Devon's been playing really well on special teams, and they're all getting reps on defense. So we'll leave it up to the defense to play the best players for us. All right. Thanks, guys. You guys good? Yeah. No, what, what, did, what did you see uh, just in, in the red zone last week? Uh, obviously, you guys want to be better and more effective there. But you did move the ball, kind of stalled some drives out in the red zone. What do you have to do to be better there? Yeah, again, we, we moved the ball up and down a bunch. You know, we got ourselves in field position that we think was advantageous to us, and we'll hopefully play a little bit better this week. Anything else? No. No, good? Okay. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>